the objective of this video is to go over Newton's law of cooling which is an amazing simple law which is used in uh, in a variety of subjects okay, so let's read the law first it's very logical law Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of cooling of a bo hot body is proportional to the temperature difference the temperature difference between the te between its temperature T that means the body's temperature T and the temperature T sub naught of its surrounding now I have uh, Google this cup of coffee which is really hot so if this if this is the cup of uh, uh, coffee and uh, the body we are talking is the coffee that a person is going to drink now or you can also take uh, the cup as a body now the rate of cooling of this cup is dependent on its temperature T and the surrounding temperature or a difference between its temperature and its surrounding temperature okay now this law has all sorts of application ranging from determining the time required for a cup of coffee to cool down to a drinkable temperature uh, to its use in forensic uh, to its use by forensic scientists who wish to determine how long a corpse has been has been or had been dead so we're going to use uh, this simple law to make a equation relating uh, the change in temperature and time. So let's read this question again. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of cooling of, of a hot body uh, uh, of a hot body is proportional to the temperature difference between its temperature. So this whole sentence means dt by dt that t is the temperature of the body dt by dt where t is the time is proportional so i'll use the sign of proportional is proportional to the difference in temperature that is t minus t sub naught states that the rate of cooling of a body so this is the rate of cooling of a body is proportional to the difference in temperature between the temperature so this is the temperature of the body and this is the temperature of the surrounding now if you want to change this proportionality sign you have to put a constant here so i can write dt by dt here the constant would be negative because here it is the rate of cooling so you can say put it's negative k times t minus t sub naught so this is the differential equation so let us write from this differential equation let us write the equation so we can say uh, 1 over dividing both sides by 1 t minus t sub naught so 1 over t minus t sub naught dt is equal to minus k dt now integrating both sides is one integration of 1 over t minus t sub naught dt is equal to minus k times integration of dt okay so let me use my space properly so this is natural log of modulus of t minus t sub naught is equal to minus k t plus c which is a constant of integration so which implies i can say natural log of i'll put this in the bracket because we're presuming this difference in temperature is not going to be zero or negative so we can remove the modulus is equal to minus kt plus c now this has a base of e so writing this in the exponent form i can write t minus t sub naught is equal to e to the power of minus kt plus c which is nothing but using the power rules or the rules of indices it's minus kt times e to the power c now this is a constant so i can write a new constant say a so here you can say now t minus t sub naught is a e to the power minus kt and therefore t is equal to t sub naught plus a 
e to the power minus kt. Now here you've got three constants where t, t is the temp temperature of the surrounding, a is a constant, k is a constant, e again is a constant. So this is a relation between the temperature of the body with respect to time. So you're relating t is the temperature of the body at any particular time and t is the time. So this is the differential equation which you get using the Newton's law of cooling. Okay, now let's apply this rule in a very interesting uh, situation. So let me copy and paste this much. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, uh, copy and I want to paste it here. Okay, so let me paste it here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so yeah, we are going to use this law to solve this problem. We are going to be now forensic scientists and uh, and that's the exciting part of maths when you can apply uh, maths or calculus uh, and physics in real uh, real problems, which are real life problems. Okay, so let's read this question. When a body dies, so this is the first in, this is the first part of the story. When a body dies or when, a, sorry, when a person dies, not a body, when a person dies, the temperature of their body or of that body will gradually decrease from 37 degrees centigrade, which is the normal body temperature. Okay, so a normal person or normal body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade or Celsius to the temperature of the surrounding. Okay, so if you find a dead body or a corpse, a dead body in a house or anywhere, that temp, uh, the temperature of that purse, uh, of that corpse will go down from 37 degree to whatever the temperature is of the surrounding. So this is a fact. So let's read the story. A person was found murdered in their home or in his home or her home. Police arrived on the scene at 10.56 p.m. The temperature of the body at that time, at 1056, was 31 degrees centigrade, and one hour later it was 30 degrees centigrade. The temperature of the room at, in which the body was found was 22 degrees centigrade. When was the murder coming? So this is the exciting part. So we are going to be using this differential or this equation to solve this problem. So we want the exact time when this murder was committed. So let's write what are the information that we have. So we have, the first thing that we know is the temperature of the room in which the body was found was 22. So this is, or the, the room in which the body was found at a temperature of 22 degrees centigrade. So P sub naught is, they're telling us, is 22 degrees centigrade. Okay, what's the next information? So let's write all the information. So at 10.56, the temperature was 31 degrees centigrade. Therefore, we can say when time is equal to zero, you have the temperature of the body was uh, 31 degrees centigrade. The next information is after one hour, that is when T is one, here we are seeing T in time. So when T is one, the temperature of the body is 30 degrees centigrade. So this is the second piece of information. Okay. And you want to find ultimately when T, you want to find the time when the temperature was 37 degrees centigrade. So this is the whole example or the whole story uh, in a mathematical form. So let us now, okay, so let us put this, so this equation changes to T is equal to 22 plus a e to the power minus kt. In this particular say, case, the equation changes to this. Okay, now what is what is that you've got? We have got when t is 0, you've got t is 0, you're going to put this information, you're going to put this information in this equation. So 31 is equal to 22 plus a e to the power t is 0, so this will become 0. 
and any number or any constant or any number to the power 0 is 1. So we can say this implies 31 is equal to 22 plus A. Now this implies if you take away 22 from both, sorry, 22 from both sides, A is 9. So the, the one constant is 9. So now our equation changes to T is equal to 22 plus 9 e to the power minus kt. Okay. So we are slowly building up the example. So what's the next part? We're going to substitute now this. When t is 1, your, your capital T is 30 degrees. So I'm going to put this in this equation. So this implies uh, 30 is equal to 22 plus 9e to the power, uh, your t is 1, so it's minus k, okay? So what will happen? If you take away 22 from both sides, you get 8 is equal to 9e to the power minus k. So 8 divided by 9 is e to the power minus k. Now taking log of both sides, so natural log of 8 divided by 9, is equal to natural log of e to the power minus k, which is nothing but minus k times natural log of e, which has a base of e. So this becomes 1 here. Yeah. So I can say minus k is natural log of 8 divided by 9. So let's use the calculator. So natural log of I'll put this in the bracket, 8 divided by 9, which is this whole thing. Because I want to save this minus 1.77, minus uh, 0 0.11778, the whole number. So I want to save this as A. So I'll go arrow, this key, alpha A. So the calculator knows now, when I press alpha A, it'll give me this number. So minus 0 0.1177. So I want to save that whole thing as, this is minus 0 0.1177, and that I have saved as A. Okay, so this is, so now my temp, uh, equation changes to P is equal to 22 plus 9 E to the power 80. Okay, so yeah, we're almost there. So this is the final equation in respect of, with respect to this example. Okay, now the question is, at what time was the murder committed? So this is what we want to find. We want to find the time when your capital T is 37. So let us put that in the equation. So 37 is equal to 22 plus 9e to the power 80. If you take away 22 from both sides, this is 15 is equal to 9e to the power 80. So 15 divided by 9e to the power 80. We're almost there. So take the natural log of both sides. The so natural log of 15 divided by 9 is natural log of e to the power 80. So natural log of 15 divided by 9 is a t times natural log of e. Again, this becomes 1. So natural log of 15 divided by 9 divided by a will give me the t. So let me use the calculator again. So natural log of 15 divided by 9 divided by alpha a. This will be, oops, What's happening? Natural log of 15 divided by 9 divided by alpha a. Yeah, minus 4.337 hours. Now, what is minus 4? I'll explain that. I hope you understand. Minus 4.337. So t, you can say t is minus 4.337 hours. Now this minus tells me that this is before uh, 4.337 hours, uh, before 10.56 p.m. Okay.
Okay, the murder was committed at uh, what time? It was committed at 10.56 p.m. So we can say murder, the murder was committed, was committed uh, 4.337 hours before 10.56 p.m. So we don't want the exact time. So yeah, so let us change this into hours and minutes. So this is four hours and 0 0.33. So let us be exact, 0 0.337 hours. So this, I want to change this into minutes. So this is four hours and how many minutes this is not 30 minutes this is not 33 minutes okay that's one of the major mistakes that students do so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply this by one to make it positive uh sorry you have to multiply by negative one to make it positive and then i'm going to take away four so that will give you this whole number and times it by 60 <coughs> that will change this this is 20 uh 20 minutes so uh, four hours and 20 minutes ago. Okay, so this is four hours and 20 minutes. Okay. Before 10.56 p.m. So if you go, so the, the answer would be, if you take away four hours, that is six, six, six point and if you take away 20 minutes 6.36 p.m. Okay, or 6.36 p.m. was when exactly the murder was committed.